गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट टू डेज क्लास डे स्टूडेंट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट चैप्टर सेवन दैट इज यू कैन सी हियर द सदर्न प्लेट्यू बिफोर दिस वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सदर्न प्लेट्यू लोकेशन एंड एक्सटेंट एंड देन आफ्टर वी शो Central Highlands and Deccan Plateau. And now today we will see rivers of the Southern Plateaus and the importance of the South Plateau region. So it is a kind of physical feature in India. as we know plateau is a table land plateau is a land of high area surrounding in comparison with surrounding area so today we are going to discuss about rivers of the southern plateau rivers of the southern plateau means there are some rivers which are famous and which are providing facility water facility to the southern plateau region rivers of the southern plateaus the rivers of south are seasonal river means they are not filled with water in all time they remain filled with water only during the monsoons why they are called seasonal river because they remain filled water only during the monsoons when there is the time of monsoon they get the river, they get the water from precipitation or rainfall and these rivers are fed by rainfall and you can say monsoons hence they are known as rain fed rivers because of one seasonal river they are called rain fed rivers rain fed rivers matlab beta jo river barish ka pani pa kar ke chalti hain ya barish ke pani se bhari hoti hain they are called rain fed rivers since the land is uneven these rivers form a number of waterfalls due to unevenness of land area these rivers fall number of these number these rivers are form number of waterfalls in this in this region such so some rivers are here for you rivers mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri yes student rivers mahanadi godavari krishna and kaveri flow eastwards into the bay of bengal into the bay of bengal the flowing direction of these rivers are in into the bay of bengal they fall into the bay of bengal that is east side they form a deltas before flowing into the bay of bengal before falling in bay of bengal they form deltas river narmada and tapi flow from the east to the west into the arabian sea yes student these rivers narmada and tapi both flow in india in opposite direction all the river flow into the east side west to east but these both river flow towards east to west and fall into the arabian sea so river narmada and tapi flow from the east to the west 
into the Arabian Sea and the river Narmada the river Narmada divides India into two part northern India and southern India below part from Narmada river is called southern India and above part of Narmada river is called northern India so this this is important thing for you which river flow in opposite direction and these rivers Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri flow into where that answer will be the Bay of Bengal and some river means two rivers are here which flow in opposite direction in comparison with other river in India in other other rivers flow to the eastward direction from west west to east but these these two rivers flow in opposite direction is to west into the Arabian Sea and my dear friend it's all about the rivers of the southern plateau some important rivers and in which direction they flow we show it and after all after seeing all these things we are going to see the importance of the plateau region dear student if anything is there on the earth there is a importance of that things so in the same way plateau have plateau have also some important importance so let us see the importance of the plateau region what are the importance of plateau region plateau region have different different qualities and different different things by which we get benefit importance of the plateau region first one is the main occupation of the people of this region is farming if anybody asks to you what is the main occupation the people who are living in plateau region your answer should be farming is the main occupation of the people of plateau region because i have i had already discussed about it that plateaus are the highlands highlands and having flat top on the flat top agricultural work can be done the black soil in this region is good for the cultivation the black soil the black soil in this region is good for the cultivation of cotton oil seeds and millets these crops can grown easily in the plateau region so plateau region or plateaus are important for us next is the region has a generous share of minerals deposits such as iron gold copper and mica mineral in mineral these plateau region are also rich so next is it is rich in coal as well in this reason we get the coal and this has resulted in the settling setting up the many industries in this region because of having the raw material that is coal many industries are set up in this settled in this region the thick forest of the northeastern part of the plateau provide valuable forest products means the thick forest of the north eastern part of the plateau provide valuable forest product yes student in the plateau region we can see a lot of forest which provide us many useful products such as wood and many 
plantation crops like rubber coffee and spices so these all the things can be get we get all these things from the valuable forest in the plateau region so in this way we can say the plateau region is very important for us and my dear student here i am concluding my video and also this lesson so keep on watching my video and do comment in comment box prepare your notes properly and learn all the things properly for your half yearly exam enjoy your day have a nice day thank you